Welcome back to Simrai Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So in this class, we'll be learning how to draft this beautiful uh, halter neckline. Okay, so this halter neckline actually has a collar to it. So we'll start off this tutorial from the front pattern. So my front pattern, I have my shoulder. I have my chest line, bust point, under bust point, and I have my waist line. This is my center front. So the first thing we will do is to divide our shoulder line by two. So if I divide it, this is what I'll be having. This is my midline. I'll go ahead and connect that midline to the bust. Point. So the next I will do is to take my bust radius. So from here, my bust radius is 3.5. And I'm going to rotate my bust radius. So the reason I'm doing this is I actually want to determine where I want my neckline to pass. So I've done that. So my neckline here is 3 by 3 inches because I'm making a halter neck. So from the tip of this 3 inches neckline, I'm going to connect the halter neckline. And if you look, you can see we have a button. There's a button running all the way at the center front. So this particular button that is running at the center front is going to open from the beginning to the waistline. So the button allowance is one inch, but if you look at that button allowance, it came in a little bit into um, the into the neckline. Okay, so uh, it's actually a button, but it's going to have an a button overlap. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create my button overlap of one one inch. So from here. I have one inch for my buttons. So I'll just do this button extension as we normally do have our button extension. So the button extension, this is where my buttons are going to sit that way and that way. So once that is done, the next thing I'm going to do now is to create from this point, I'm going to mark one and a half inch. Okay, so that is where I want the continuation of my uh, the the uh, halter neck to be. So here, I'll place my ruler, and I'm going to push that ruler there, and I'll position it in a way that I will have the exact width I'm looking for. So I'll just keep marking the line. So it depends on how you want to mark the line. If you want to mark the line this way to terminate to the end, you can do that. So it's all your choice. If you want it to stop here, it's all your choice. So let us go by what we have right here. So I'm going to place my uh, pattern paper here to trace out what I have here. So I'm tracing out what I have here covering all the accessed parts. So what, when I'm tracing this, I'm seeing what I'm tracing. That is the neckline. And I'm going to trace through the halter neck. So if you can use the ruler to do the tracing, that will be fine. So I take it to that point. And I'm going to take it straight till I get to this point. So once I get there, I'm going to trace the other okay. So this is the down and this is the upper part. So please indicate that. So I'll just go ahead and cut.
this is the part you are going to cut on a different fabric okay so it's going to be placed right here after sewing the bust here so i'll just take this off and i'll go ahead to uh, contour my under bust so for my under bust contour line i'll just go ahead from the center front i'll take my under bust divide by four and what i have here left is 1.25 i'll put 0.25 here and one inch here so i'll flip my ruler this way that way and i'll connect to my dart so my dart intake is 1.5 and I, I also replaced it by the side right here. So now is to create the upper neckline and tighten the over bust. So our neckline, it depends on how you want your neckline to be. So on this line, my bust um, radius is 3.5 and this is it. So I'll just go, uh, go up by 0.75. So once I do that, it depends on the shape of the bustier you want to uh, have. I'm just trying to find something that looks nice. So from that 7.5, I'll go to the chest line. So it means it's following exactly the bust radius. It's just resting on the bust radius. So I'll go ahead and extend this line to touch the halter neck. So at this point, we have this line and this line. That is where we are going to contour our over bust. So from here, I go out by 0.75 and from here, another 0.75. So I'll just go ahead and connect my dart. So this is the dart I'm taking off. So because I'm taking this dart off and it's running not into the arm hole, it's still running through this so i'm going to replace that that by making an extension from here to here so that extension should be equal to the dart intake which is 1.5 so this is my 1.5 and i'm going to reconnect now my armhole so that is what i'll be having for that bust so now i'm going to cut I'll just go into this line so this particular the center line okay I'll cut the center this center line which is the button loops and this button loops after it's been sewn we'll have it this way so I might decide to use another color for you to appreciate it. So let me keep it that way. And I'll go to the neckline. And then I'll go uh, into... Okay, I'm not cutting here because I've already traced it out. So I'll just go into my neckline and cut out my bust here. So this is what your pattern is going to look like. So I'll cut right here. Okay, I separate this, then cut this and cut off the over bust that. So this intake, once we put it, you can see it comes or returns back to normal. So I'll match it up here. So you can see we have a little shortage. So when you have shortage like that, all you need to do is to place your pattern ruler, uh, pattern paper below and replace the shortage, okay? So I'll just put this line to match up with this. Apply my adhesive below it so I'll be able to replace that point. 
So I'll place my paper, making sure my chest line matches with my chest line. And I'll pretend as if I've sewn it before I replace. So I'll place my ruler like I did before. From that point, I'll just go ahead. Or if your ruler might not give you what you want, you can just go ahead and do this very carefully. So this becomes the part that could have shortened. So I'll just go ahead. So this is it. Once you sew it, you see everything matches up accordingly. So I just close up my board that right now. Apply my adhesive right there. Okay, so we have this one right now. And so I'm done right now, and this is what your pattern will look like. So by the time you sew the bust here and have your um, button, okay. So this part, um, the this button. A look will be separate okay so you cut on fold and now sew it in just push it in uh, into this part and this one after sewing your bust here you will turn this also um, two pieces of it turn it uh, appropriately and up stitch on top of this okay so it will be top stitch on top of it. So by the time you sew this bust in, everything matches up this way. Okay. All right. So that is that for the front. So for the back, I'm going to use what I have on the back to construct the back. So the back will start from this line, as you can see. So we are going to have the back construction. So to construct the back right now, so the first thing we are going to do is to put this together and we are going to do a little blending. What I mean is we are going to blend the front, okay? So from this point, it runs into the arm. It actually needs to run into the armhole, okay? So when it runs into the armhole, it continues to the back. So I'll just trim off what I have here for the back. So this is actually how it's supposed to be. So we'll be able to have a continuation of it to the back. So everything runs into the back. So for the back, see just um, from that point, I'm going to connect my back this way. So the back is actually going to be open. So I'll connect my back that way. And I will extend my my that. Then the back is not going to have since the front has buttons, so the back will be cut on fold. Or you can also decide to contour it and join it back. So let me contour it from here, 0 0.75. I'll just contour and join back. So if I do that. That means I'll retake my both circumference divided by 4 here. And I'll retake my waist circumference divided by 4 plus 1 and half inch of that. So I'm going to connect this replacement. And I'll go ahead and cut. So you might decide to eliminate the that. You might decide to also work with that. So for now, I just go ahead and cut this way, cut off the contour line, go into this. So I might decide to separate this back, I might decide to sew it as one piece. So I want to sew it as one piece. So if I'm sewing it as one piece, then this is my nine inches. I will eliminate my dart and measure my waist 
circumference, which is uh, divide by four directly. Then I, I remove the dot from here. So I remove the dot from here. So your pattern will now be be like this. This center front is on fold. Uh, sorry, it's not on fold because you have a button to sew to it. You sew your bust here. You sew your back. Okay. This is the zipper. Oh, sorry, this is going to be on fold. Like I said, the, we have the button for the front. Then after which this one comes this way. Can you see that? So by the time you finish your bust here first, then you sew your button and you sew this part. And this is the neckline. So on this neckline, that is where we are going to take our round uh, neck measurement. Okay? Round neck measurement and construct our collar. So I have a detailed video on how to make the shirt color so i'll also link the description on the uh, on the description box so you can check it out and create exactly that neck color and attach on this neckline so you just sew it on this neckline give the same gap we had here which is 1.5 before you sew around your color and you join the back so the back is going to be an open back with a shirt collar and a button at the front so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you for coming and see you in the next class bye